In this video, we'll explore the way that Organic Groups handles group memberships. Before we begin, I'm going to create a test user named Chelsea. Now that that's done, I'm going to have Chelsea join group number two. So I'll switch over to Safari, log in as Chelsea. And we'll go to group number two and request group membership. Now, right now we have an option for a text box that we can enter in a request message, but I've talked with Amitai and this actually isn't currently used anywhere. It's in the works and will be used soon, but right now nobody sees this. So I'm just going to leave it blank and click join. And right away we see that the request group membership link has changed to an unsubscribe from group link. This shows that her request has been sent. While we're logged in as administrator, I'll go to group number two. And select the group tab and then people. Here we can see that my membership is active and that Chelsea's membership is pending. As a side note, if she were to change her mind before an administrator came to see this and she clicked that unsubscribe link, she'd be removed from this list and we would never see her. So in order to change her status, we're going to check the box next to her name and then we have some update options. These options are approve membership of the selected users, this will do what it says and the selected users will become members of the group. Deny membership from the selected users. This will temporarily deny membership to the user and they must reapply if they'd like to be reconsidered for membership. This will also remove a user from the group. Block membership from the selected users will permanently deny membership to the user and they cannot reapply. This is also where we will assign members to roles uh, and I cover group roles in the video Customize Organic Groups Global Roles as well as the video group specific roles. Let's look at each of these update options in turn. First, we'll deny Chelsea's membership. So I'll select deny and update. You notice that she's gone from the list. And if I flip back over to Safari and refresh, she once again has the request group membership link. Let's have a request membership again. We'll click request group membership and join. And when we switch back over and refresh, this time we're going to block her membership. So we'll select block membership and update. Now you see that she's still in the list, but that her state is blocked. And I'll show you what that does when we flip back over and refresh as Chelsea. The group membership block is completely gone and she doesn't have the option to request membership anymore. Now I want to approve her membership. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just select deny to remove her from this list so that she can request it one more time. And when she does that, this time I will approve the membership of the user. So now she's active. And when we flip back over here, uh, she still has the unsubscribe from group link so that if she were to ever decide uh, that she wanted to leave the group, she could do that from here. And the other thing that you'll notice is, is that she can now see private article number two. That's because she is now a member of the group and has access to all the private articles.